So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my creative process and how I actually make a beat from making the chords to recording the saxophone to even mastering the track. So let's get on with it. Let's start with piano. So with piano, I always like to start with like a classic electric piano sound or like a um, like Rhodes electric piano sound and just sort of, you know, just have a feel just what works and just have a feel about what chord sequence would go with the best vibe that fits with the track because I find that when I want to find the chord sequence I love that really helps me to build up and embellish just a different vibe. So it's time to noodle around and I will show you just me noodling. <laughs> Get that recorded. So we're going to record it 75 BPM. And once we got that recorded, we just um, sort out the piano roll, you know, sort out any inversions, imperfections, whatever, and just make it work. Sometimes um, the chord sequence sounds even better when you transpose it down. So, so to me that sounds a bit too high for me, so maybe knock it down a couple semitones, maybe three. The next thing we try and do is try out new sounds with that chord sequence. So, because I've used a stock, um, a stock electric piano, we can test out different different sounds that I have. One of which, one of which is Keyscape, which has got immense um, keyboard sounds. So, let's go through Keyscape and see what sounds the best. Probably go for a mixture between um, electric piano and normal piano. This one's my favourite sound. Uh, let's see what it sounds like. It's like it's meant to mimic like an old upright piano. It's called Wing Upright Lonely Basement, so it's got that dusty mechanical sound. Let's see what that sounds like. Sounds good. So we're just bouncing it up right now. So now that's all bounced, I'm going to do a variation of the chord sequence just to add a bit more flavour and keep it more interesting. Now we've got that recorded, let's add a another layer of, um, of a instrument like electric piano maybe. Now it's time to add some drums. So drums, we just add the snare. Just a basic eye hat. Now the kick drum. Now 
now time for bass. sound so far. So it's the next day, and now we're going to record saxophone. I've now got a cold, so excuse my voice, but yeah, let's get on with the saxophone. So we've got the Rode NT USB mic, and then um, basically you just play along with it, um, work out the chords, work out the scales, work out what notes work where, and um, just figure out a melody that best suits the vibe I'm trying to go for. <laughs> Okay, so after some editing and mixing and effects on the saxophone, um, adding compressor and, and compressor, so compressor and various other effects. Um, compressor just helps to keep it at a good volume. This is what it sounds like all together now. Bass beat done and dusted, let's work on the structure. And then we're ready to mix and master. Okay, so now we've got the intro, we've got the outro, and then we got little transitions with the reverse crashes and crashes, and then a little middle section. So that is what we like to see in terms of structure. Okay, now we're doing the mastering. If you don't know what mastering is, basically it's when you make the track as loud as possible without distorting. So I always have a reference track here. Yeah. So this is like a similar style of music. So I'll just solo that, see how that's sounding, you know. mastering consists of linear EQ so that just balances it out um, balances any um, imbalances in the frequencies and then I have my adaptive limiter to stop it from going over um, and distorting and then I have my gain so that we can match the volume and gain to the reference track and then I have my compressor which just squishes it all nicely and smooths it out and just makes it all balanced. So that's basically my mastering process. You know, 
if in doubt always use a reference track you know a track that sounds similar to yours and you want to sound like it and i mean that's basically it you know? Thanks for watching the video. I'll put the whole beat at the end of this video so you can hear it. Well, actually not the whole beat. I'll put a little snippet and then release the beat later on. But yeah, hope you liked my video. Hope you were interested in how I make my music and how all the tracks you hear are made. And I'll see you whenever. Ciao.